Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we got the usual keyboard roundup, top five under $50. And yeah, are they gonna be any good? Well, I sure hope so. But before we dive into this keyboard roundup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Black Shark and their awesome budget gaming headset featuring 50 millimeter dynamic audio drivers for immersive sound, compatibility across a wide range of devices like PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and more, a built-in microphone and super comfortable ear cushions built for long gaming sessions, and of course, that beautiful RGB. Check the link in the description down below to learn more and special thanks again to Black Shark for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys haven't seen our keyboard roundup videos before, we basically go through each of these keyboards and we test out the switches, we check out the keycaps, the build quality of the keyboard, and then we actually rate them from one to five to see which one is the best of the keyboard roundup in our opinions. And of course, all these keyboards are available on Amazon, hopefully. Sometimes we always find a gym that sells out really quickly, but check the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us out if any of these keyboards make you interested in buying it. So let's just go ahead and dive into the first one right here. All right guys, so first up, we have a pretty cool keyboard. This is the, I think it's Womir WK61, 60% mechanical Xbox. And it is white with red switches and looks like lots of RGB. So let's go ahead and open this. Matt tells me this is a cool, interesting looking one. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out. Putting mechanical keyboard, they give you their, their website, they give you all the function keys and everything, hopefully to change some RGB. And I'm already seeing some pretty cool colors here. So it looks like it actually comes with, oh, look at that. It comes with that, it comes with a, this is interesting, a switch and a keycap puller. So that mm -hmm. means this might be hot swappable. It looks like it actually comes with a USB-C cable. It looks like actually a standard Android charging cable, but definitely props for having a detachable USB-C cable and not some micro USB junk. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'm excited, I'm excited. Ooh, okay, I'm yeah, I'm liking that. So we got like this really nice like it's not acrylic, I'm guessing it's just plastic. Could be acrylic, I don't know. But it looks like it's a see-through base and everything. It's it's very, very barely see-through. Very, very barely see-through. <laughs> it's uh, it's barely opaque is what I should say. Um, yeah, it looks really nice though. You can see we got these um, these pudding keycaps. So we got like the two different layers. Kind of a textured top, which I definitely like. 60% layout, so you don't have like arrow keys. You just have like your function, and then if you want arrows, you literally have to do like that. And or, it's sorry, actually these. there, yeah. Yeah, so you got up and down, but you do have to hold down function while you do it, which for some people, kind of be make or breaks. But um, let's go ahead and pull off a keycap. Let's get ready to plug it in. I'm skipping steps here. We got to pull off a keycap. It's supposed to be reds. I expect it to be reds. What kind of reds? They are, it looks like, yeah, Ottoman. They're Ottoman oh. reds, so a nice name brand. But now let's try this. Let's see if this is what I think it is. Can they be hot swap? Can I actually get it out too? I'm, yep, they're oh. hot swappable. So we got a hot swap keyboard, meaning you can actually buy whatever switches you want for this. You can get really nice switches, you can get cheaper switches. They don't really care as long as they're the standard um, switch layout, which I'm sure Zach would know better than I do. Um, you can pop some new ones in. So let's go ahead and put this back in here. And now let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it actually looks like. I'm expecting some pretty cool colors here. I mean, the thing's see-through, so they have to have made it look cool, right? Man, that looks so good, like having those uh, pudding caps that are transparent on the bottom. Um, you can definitely see through on the base a little bit. It's not quite as bright as I thought it would be, but ooh, look at the back though. The back is like bumping, the part that you'll probably like, never see. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it looks really cool. I guess at this point, it's just kind of figuring out how does it sound when we type on it. So let's do this. So overall, keyboard types really well. Stabilizers sound great. There's nothing that sounds like, you know, not smooth or anything like that. So the lube's pretty good as well. The fact that it's hot swap has cool RGB is very unique. I'm putting this one at number one right now. Obviously, you know, there's only one keyboard, but I would not be surprised if this one actually comes out at number one at the very end. I need a knife. But what we have right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call the GK61 clone, or basically the like thousandth rebrand of the GK61. This is the Newman GM610. They're trying to be sneaky, but they had him a zero. Listen, oh gosh, a lot of rattle going on here, but we need a knife, so that means this is a quality product, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And yeah, this is another, yeah, 60% board that's just flapping around and there's switches. Oh my goodness, let's look at these Ooh. switches real quick. So I guess this is an example of a switch that's in here. It's a brown switch. Oh, look at this. Man, I'm, I'm liking the style of that keyboard. Yeah, well, we'll go to that, but I guess these are just brown switches. The sure. Browns? 
Not really. Because you know we have we have a Still switch like tester. Red. We have a switch tester up front that like none of them are right. So yeah. I, I think some companies don't quite understand. But yeah, we also have those switches. Um, and then I think underneath these switches we have a uh, keycap puller along with a like switch puller Ooh, and a braided um, and a braided cable. So far so good. And we have this other color scheme too. If you really want to go that route, it's kind of like Captain America esque. <laughs> um, but if you open this keyboard up. Pretty well built. It's again, it's the same frame as like the GK61. Really like this keyboard. 60% uh, design. You got this different color scheme, a little red accent. I like it. Uh, no flip out feet, just some non slip pads. USB C, as always, because you saw the cable. Let's go ahead and get this open so we can look at that key switch to verify what we got here. I think it's cool. It looks like this one actually has lighting. So this is a brown box switch. Um, I can't really tell the brand. Let me see. I have no idea what that name is. No clue. Like yeah, that's can zoom in. I think it's Automan. Is it Automan? Maybe my vision is just that bad. Oh no, man! I'm like really zoomed in right now. Sure, we'll <laughs> just run with that. But it's a it's a box switch, so you know it's fine. I, I'm just kind of curious. It doesn't feel like. I mean, yeah, I guess it is a little bit like Browns, but it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel you feel it. the bump red, a little red bit. Red with the tactile bump, yeah. Yeah, a, so a mushy red. A little, a little, yeah, just like that. But uh, looks good so far. Let's just go ahead and plug it up and see that RJ Bay. All right, so we have the RGB going here, and I think with the keycaps they win here, where they're like very like not see through. It's blocking a lot of the RGB. This keyboard normally is pretty bright. So if you do swap the keycaps for something like putting keycaps or something like that, you'll get some RGB. But I do like this look. And I think if you're going for this style of keyboard, you're probably not gonna worry too much about crazy RGB. As long as it has some sort of backlighting, it's fine. So yeah, let's just do a typing test real quick. So yeah, feels like a GK61. Spacebar a little rattly, but I mean, it's a decent typing experience. Browns are pretty nice to type on. Um, if you're somebody who does type a lot for gaming, I'd normally recommend a red or linear switch, but yeah, this one isn't too bad. Definitely gonna rank it second though, so far out of the two we've already looked at. All right guys, next up we have the Perry, Perryx keyboard. A platypus? Perry the keyboard. And this is proudly made in Germany. The exact model is the Perry Board 428. And this one's a little bit different. This one's a low profile switch with what looks to me like low profile keycaps as well. Um, it appears to be 65%. They really don't advertise like what the actual layout is. It has arrow keys, which is weird. They basically got rid of the whole entire function row and they have it as a layered uh, function row. So you have to actually press FN and then any of these will be your function keys. But look at that. We actually have arrow keys right over here, which is definitely different. I mean, this is, this is very different. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very just, it feels like it's a portable keyboard, but you're just like, why does it really need to be portable? I don't know. Um, doesn't have any flip out feet or anything. Just has these uh, pads to kind of a one height fit all. It does use USB-C interface, um, which is right in here. Let's see if we get a braided cable or not. I guess no, but yeah, I'm just get a basic, basic uh, like charger style cable. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, but no, I mean, the keyboard looks pretty nice. We'll go ahead and pop one of these off. These are supposed to be kale, low profile brown switches. And yeah, they're definitely different. This is actually, uh, we've had a couple keyboards that use these where you can't use standard keycaps. It's the main thing that sucks. You have to use these like specialty keycaps. Um, and you can't just really swap these out for like a normal switch to my knowledge. So. Definitely some drawbacks there, but most people aren't buying a $50 keyboard thinking like, oh, I'm gonna swap out all the keycaps and switches, blah, blah, blah. Definitely interesting too how we have like the delete and um, page up all that stuff down over here. So yeah, let's go and plug it in and see what it looks like. Okay, pretty bright. I do gotta give them that. They definitely did a good job with brightness. I'm assuming it's all the way, yeah, that's going down. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, RGB so far, this is one of the best. I mean, it's very close to that first one that we ranked number one. Um, I, I will say though, the, the whole, I don't know, the whole checklist thing's not getting to me, but you know, we gotta do a typing test to really, to really put this to rest. All right guys, so you know this keyboard, I'm actually, I kinda liked it. I'm not gonna lie, the typing on it, um, I normally don't like brown switches, but for some reason those low profile brown switches, they kinda hit a little bit different. I don't. Now that I'm really feeling it, I'm like, I don't even feel a tactile bump at all. <laughs> I 
I feel like I do, but I feel they're like they're just I don't. so low. I think they, the whole point of low profile is for fast actuation. The travel is very short. Like, you just feel that real quick. And tell me, tell me if you feel like do the escape. I mean, you can kind of feel it's it. It's very subtle. yeah. It feels like a red, like a heavy red switch almost. So it's hype in terms. I actually liked it. I enjoyed this the the really slow travel. Or sorry, really low travel and having to freaking press it down super far. RGB looks really good. The only things I don't like are the fact that low profile keycaps a little bit weird to me, and the fact that the whole keyboard's just. I don't know. You know, for being a part of the $50 keyboard roundup, I definitely feel like there's better like full size ones that you're not really worried about being mini and portable. So where would you rank it? I'm gonna put it at number three for now. Yeah, number um, three for now. I don't I don't know if it'll be last, but it, it, it could end up being last. So this one right here, as it's listed on Amazon, is CIY, but it looks like it's Team Wolf. Ow. Um, so what we have right here is a 10 keyless keyboard, RGB, all that good stuff. And he's using optical brown switches. But we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out and it's looking pretty clean. I kind of like it. So it looks like it's a very minimal setup here and those sound really clicky. I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, it... what kind of brown switches are these? All right, we'll get to that in a second, but um, nothing else. That's all you get is the keyboard. It looks very unique. It has a bunch of like sharp edges. It's very gamer and I bet this glows right here. How well we will see. On the bottom, we do have some flip out feet. So that's a good little addition. Non-slip pads. The cable is pre-attached. So for those who don't like that, like me, you might not be a fan of that. Um, and yeah, I'll just look at this switch because this feels like blues. Oh. It is a brown. It's a brown box switch and it's from Light, L-I-G-H-T. I know this is a lot of companies this out there. This is a blue. Like I was saying that they don't understand the whole switch color scheme. Let me see um, if our resident keyboard guy is busy. I want to see him type on this and guess what the switch is. Yeah. My name's Jackson and Matt and I own this pawn shop. You never know what's going to come through that door. So All right. we're calling in our keyboard expert. All right, oh, so. Yeah, yeah but I, I, I like that actually. Yeah, so that's one. All right, so what we're going to do is type on this and tell me what kind of switch it is. And we're going to call you Margaret. That's your expert. <laughs> Margaret? Name. Yeah, Zach, Zach doesn't sound professional. Is it a cherry switch or is it a knockoff switch? It's a knockoff switch. Yeah. Just go I mean, go basic with it. Yeah, just go like, basic like with what it. What color does it sound like it should be? Like we're just talking cherry. So it doesn't feel like a tactile, it feels like a clicky. So it's not gonna be like a blue or brown, I would think. It sounds like it should be, but just just like like just if you were to type on, like what would you say it? <laughs> You're thinking way too hard, man. I guess a blue. Is that what you want okay, to do? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because it sounds like a blue, right? And yeah. look look what it is. It is just so wrong. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like, it sounds like a clicky. Like, I mean, it sounds and feels like a clicky to me. It sounds like a blue and feels like a blue to me. But yeah, that, that was our keyboard expert. And uh, yeah, he, he felt the same way. So let's he just felt, go ahead and plug this thing up. Let's plug this thing up and see the RGB. He feels cheated. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I like that RGB. So we don't have RGB on the keys right now. Maybe there's a like, mode. Is it to... like a peel on this? Because it just looks there, bad. I, I feel like there has to be. Or she's really. Yeah, there's a peel. Ah, I can't get any more of it off. This is not going well, Chet. It's not going well. I don't like how they left that peel on there. If they're gonna have a peel, make it easy to come off. It just doesn't come off, but God. let's see. Uh, we're doing this upside down here, but let's do function. Okay. That does brightness, brightness, but why doesn't it? Is this just speed? Is there a mode one that Are I'm missing? Are you sure it has RGB? I mean, Wait, this maybe? It might not. It might literally just be RGB or yeah, red. I think you get like blue. Okay. Or whatever this is. Oh, well, but, place. <laughs> but yeah, no real RGB. It kind of has this. I don't know why they just didn't add it to the keyboard. I mean, that would probably make it that much cooler, but this is a weird keyboard. Let's do a time test real quick on these browns. You know where this belongs. Let's go on to the next one. Last place. All right, chat. Lastly, we got actually uh, a company we've worked with before. This is Tilted Nation. Um, we just, you know, bought this one because we were like, you know what, let's throw a little bit more of a name brand one in there and also one that's full size. So this one claims to have red switches. I actually believe it because Tilted Nation's a pretty reputable company. Um, now, I don't think we're gonna have anything that can beat last place of that one. That's, and I, I don't want to give off a bad impression. It's not like a horrible keyboard or anything. It's just the brown switch was not really correct. RGB was very weird. It's the only one that's technically not RGB. Um, the actual keycaps themselves are all just like a blue backlit. So I, I don't see this one getting last, but it has a major disadvantage for us. It is full size. And that is something here at the Toasty Bros. We're not really huge fans of, mainly because, well, as gamers, we don't use that number pad. We're not a bunch of old geezers. No, I'm just kidding. Number pads are pretty cool, but we're not really in a business where we really grew up or ever had to use them. But one thing I'm noticing that's really nice. cool, I think this is going to be RGB. Because look at this. 
We have actual really contact nice. pins here. Is it magnetic too? Yeah, magnetic as well. Razor. Okay. <laughs> like <Take it>. notes. <laughs> I'm liking that. Um, this is weird. We have a keycap puller, and then what are those? I don't know what those are. Those like. Oh. What the hell? Are those the feet? <gasps> Bro, what the heck? I've never seen feet like this before. What? My only, no, I don't know what those would be. I thought maybe you could put them on here and they were like spacers, but I don't know. Do maybe. they not like, like you put it on there and then it just. Like, oh, maybe keeps it. it. Yeah. Yeah. From yeah. yeah that, that could be it. Really weird to include those. Why not just make the screws tight? I don't know. Anyways. So we have supposedly red switches. Let's go ahead and take one of these off and see exactly what. Okay. So we actually do have a red switch. It feels like a red switch and they are. It's actually pretty big letters. It looks like K R G B K R G. I don't know. It might be like an in-house brand for them. Um, it, it definitely didn't say Tilted Nation. So who knows? It could just be some random third party, but these definitely sound and feel like reds. They actually feel pretty quality. So um, let's go ahead and plug it in. One thing to note too, this one does brag about having like all these rotary knobs and I kind of like the design, like how they're um, like, I guess you can actually tell where it's at rather than just being a, a knob that spins forever. These ones actually have like some texture to them and basically arrows, I guess you'd call it. So you can actually you know, tell what you're doing. I don't know. Some of you might hate that. Some people with OCD might hate this because if you want to go like a certain direction, now it's it's crooked. It's all messed up. It's all messed up, me lad. All right. Take off our USB cover. This one does have a, a uh, braided USB cable. Non-detachable, of course, because, you know. Okay, let's see what happens here. It goes like weird gamer modes. Make it stop. I just want full keyboard lighting. Is this where we have to download software? Those are the keyboard roundups I never want to get to. No, I never want to do that. We actually figured it out. So this right here connects like that. And then look, we have this really dim RGB line around the side, but hey, that's an added feature. And then you actually have to press these guys right here to get different RGB modes. Um, and obviously the knobs do control brightness and everything. But I mean, in terms of looks, this one's definitely up there. I mean, we got all kinds of RGB. We got an actual wrist rest, which none of the other ones had. And it has RGB on it. That's actually uh, multifunction. And um, you know, these are kind of cool too. The whole idea of being able to change like the height and then make it fixed. Um, Might be a lot better for people out there who have trouble with like, maybe they push forwards too much and it causes the feet to flip down. These will never move once you get them tight. So I guess that could be an advantage for some people. Let's go and do a typing test. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna lie. I like this one. Um, I, one of the things I think that I like about it is this plate and the whole keyboard is very thick and heavy. So if you notice when we were typing, these keys were very quiet. There was no loud back plate noise when it was bottoming out. There was no like echo or anything. Even the stabilizers, not bad. They didn't make a whole lot of noise. So I definitely think, yeah, this is a tough one. We gotta consult the Katana. Katana. Not Katana, Katana. pick the winner. It's Katana. Um, uh oh, that fixed that picked the problem. Hmm. I was, I'm more of debating like I feel like it's better than this one. I think so too. I don't think it's better than this one though. No, because that's just I mean, that's like it's it, basic GK. You know, it's GK. It if it was it like is. something else, I'd be like, oh, it's probably better. But all right, we got it. We got to show the ranking here. So we're going to say that this one, I don't have the box for it right now, but we're just going to get it in here so you guys can see the basic real quick. But yeah, I mean, long story short, we think that this is a nice middle ground. If this was um, 10 keyless or like, uh, what do you call it? 60%, 65%, this could be more towards number one, but this is unique. Looks nice. You really can't go past the unique. So let's go and get them back on to the, back on to the, get them back on their table. Let's <laughs> we'll hit the end up button real quick. Let's hit the end up button. All right, guys. So we have the keyboards displayed from first to worst. And really at the end of the day, like we said, the one that's worst isn't really like that bad. The main thing we didn't like about it was sort of false advertising in our eyes. It's a brown optical switch that clearly sounds like a blue, but it is a brown switch. I mean, they didn't lie about the color. It just doesn't feel or sound like a brown. So if you want to pick up any of the key bars from today's roundup, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and it does help us out. Hopefully I did not blow your eardrums out when I did that keyboard. 
mashing. Um, but yeah, buy these keyboards, link in the description down below and let us know what kind of roundup you want to see next, whether it's headsets, other peripherals, maybe people in this office, you know, we'll round them or, up. Or review from top to worst. <laughs> or round them up and review them however you want. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, if you want to buy a keyboard, you happen to be close to the Louisville, Kentucky area, we sell all these keyboards for like half the price of MSRP. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We sell super high-end gaming PCs and of course, stuff we feature here on the YouTube channel. Check out our website or come in person. See you guys later. Goodbye.